Today we're plein air painting this street scene and we're gonna talk about the very first stage for a plein air painting. Almost lost my paint rack. So this is the, this is the scene that I wanna paint here. I'm really attracted to um, this car and it just has like a, such a classic look and also the great shadows and lights. So I love what we're seeing in these trees and This vehicle is just so cool. And also the building in shadow. And I think I'll try to maybe get um, some of these verticals in and try to get this sense of perspective here. So that's, this is what we're going for. So the first thing I wanna do is get an accurate drawing. So I'm gonna be actually using a pencil here to try to get something that's maybe a little bit more tightly rendered. And I'm gonna use my pencil extended like this so that I can kind of measure angles and things like that. Okay, I want this post here. And I'm gonna focus on getting the car and I'm measuring the distance from the edge of the pole to the front of the car. Which maybe let's say, that's like this. So from here to here is just slightly shorter than the distance of the edge of the car to the back end of the car. So if I go here, and then maybe just extend it out just a little bit more. That's going to give me the length of my car. And when I measure like the length of the car, say like the front part of it, again, actually the front end of it is just about the same as the length of it. So that means that we can pretty much cut it in half so that this portion here is gonna be the front face. Let me use that front face and then I'm gonna compare that to the height of the car. And I would say from the bumper to the roof is the same as the front face. So this distance here is the same to the roof. If we did that, I'm gonna measure the angle that that bottom of the car bumper is and I'm holding my pencil out horizontally and it's just slightly at an angle so perfect horizontal would be like this but this is slightly just slightly angled a little bit like this like so so we'll kind of fill in some of those Details like so. Again, I'm measuring that angle by holding my pencil out vertical, horizontal. Something like this. It comes up and we'll have kind of a similar line up here because the car is receding into you know, the distance. I feel like this is a decent start. It's kind of a... I don't know what this part is, maybe storage or something. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good, how are you doing? Good. Are you filmmaking? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm doing a painting of this car here. Which one? The Westphalia. This one? Yeah. It's got such a classic look, so <laughs> I, I've walked by it so many times, I'm like, I gotta draw that, I gotta paint that. So, thanks. So this windshield kind of, again, sort of bisects it. 
about halfway here. in these cool headlights. That is, it's just so cool. And there's like a little strip here and more dark. And then we have the bumper, which kind of protrudes. So I'm gonna bring that down a little bit around like this and that. underneath that if I look and I look at like a straight line from basically the inside bulb right here if it comes straight down that's going to show me where the tire is right in here So using, you know, one edge that we found to create another edge is useful. And the curb's up here. And I can just barely see another tire back here. Something like that. I want to get the shadow in. There's a shadow here and it kind of cuts diagonally bring you know this line here and we have a little window and sort of a larger third window here Some kind of little decal or thing here. Over the top, there's kind of this, these poles, I guess, for, I think this needs to come up a little bit. Let's see, let's do some more measurements. Let's say the back end, front tire here, kind of matches with this part here.
bring this down some. Here, there's a mirror that comes out. And that mirror casts a shadow. Comes on down like this. Okay. That's a decent start for that. So. Kind of see there's some stuff hanging in here. You can kind of see another post in that window. Cool. Now back here there's another car. I'm gonna treat it a lot more loosely. I'm not that much that interested in this car. So we'll just kind of block it in basic shape. Get this car down here too. Coming across the road, there's the shadow of a tree. And I always like when you can include a shadow from a previous, from another tree or something. And these are in, in shadow. There's some shadows coming across the road here. Something like this. to get that sense of um, that there's a scene outside of our painting. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna reinforce this post. Just take it straight up. Like so. Just under this headlight here is a perspective line I wanna get of kind of a a raised bed or a little retaining wall. A lawn that goes up. I would say right in here is kind of a line for a sidewalk. It's relatively thin based on the perspective. Okay, and then from here we go up and there's kind of like some lawn and some plants and there's a bush here that I'm gonna treat loosely. And I like how right above the, the, the car here is kind of some dark foliage. I guess those are some bushes and I'm gonna now start kind of blocking out this tree. And we have lots of overlapping shapes, which is kind of nice. And in fact, I might even bring this tree here on this side of the road just to overlap. So we have several overlapping shapes. So this shape is overlapping this shape, which is overlapping this shape here in the back. So I want to do a measurement again using from the bottom of the car to the top. And if I measure that up, equidistance, that gives me to the bottom of the awning. So from here to here is going to be the bottom of the awning or the roof of this building. I'm going to measure that angle. Yeah, 
and in perspective, get something like this. And it comes out a little bit. And then we'll measure the roof from the bottom of that awning. It's really small. It's really the angle, something like this. Right next, this pulse right here kind of intersects a chimney. So I'll put that in. Okay, so that's the beginnings of our building. And about halfway from the roof of the car and in between this point and this point is kind of a ridge line of like secondary roofs um, that pop out. So I'll measure those. I'm not sure what these are called architecturally. But you know, you can paint anything even if you don't know what it is um, by kind of breaking things down into measurements, into line and shape and angles and things like that. And so you can follow lines down, like I can see like the straight line of this part comes down and intersects right above this thing here. So this is kind of comparative measurement that can kind of help you find find your lines there's like a little staircase that juts out here so put that in and then right next to this is kind of an archway which is kind of cool a little doorway and i think that like i i want to keep that like relatively vague as well and we have kind of a line right along with this chimney here that cuts in. So there's gonna kind of be a shadow there. And then we have like a window right here. Okay, and this might be, you know, I'm trying to think like how much detail do I wanna put in the building? Cause it's not the focal point for me. Um, There are these cool plant bowl planters. I'll put these in here. And when I need to get the edge of the building, the edge of the building comes to about right here. So I'll mark that. And this is probably about right. This is probably about good. I also have this um, parking, no parking sign. And I like that, like little signs of life. I'm gonna put it in it's a little bit crooked. And it comes up quite a bit higher because it's closer to us. So you want to, you know, you wanna think ahead of time, like what are the main aspects that you wanna get into your, into your street scene or into your painting. I'm gonna make sure I get the shadow from this in here and this is, you know, this is what I'm after. So this is kind of giving me, giving me the basic, the basic idea of this, and um, put in some power lines, and like even around here, some lines that come in, and intersect, and all of this, all these like little things, kind of give you, um, give you. The, rea the realism, you know, um, and I think make, make a painting interesting. So got one more little structure that comes here. And bring that down, just some windows. And call that 
that good. And then above here, there's like another story. And maybe we will put some of these windows in too. There's a window here. And here. And over here, but it kind of gets obscured by a tree. And then right here, there's also a window. All right, so that's the drawing stage. And we can go, I'm going to go back over it and refine, but I think like this is kind of the general idea and that's getting me um, where I want to be. So now we're going to go over this with paint. So this isn't an absolutely necessary step, but um, I could just paint right over the, um, the lines that I just drew but I think I kind of want to go back in and reinforce some of these lines with paint and just be a little bit more careful with my lines. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And I'm just using um, burnt sienna or burnt umber rather that's uh, mixed down with some um, Hamblin's solvent-free medium. And I can add some other details in here that like I haven't, I didn't get the first time. This is stage one of our painting. The next thing that we're gonna do is start mixing up colors and blocking in colors. So if you wanna see that stage, click on this video here, subscribe for more videos like this. Remember, you have a voice that matters. Go be creative. I'll see you next time.